Tonight at 5.30, you can hear Emily Remler performing at the jazz party in the city of Minneapolis at City Center Marriott. Earlier uh, yesterday, I had a chance to talk to Emily Remler off stage and capture some of her thoughts about music. Emily, uh, when, when the names of these giants like Jimi Hendrix and Johnny Winter mounted the scene, this was the age of rock and the Woodstock mentality. How did you break loose? Well, actually, I still love those guys, <laughs> first of all. Um, but I just love a lot of different types of music. I'm, I'm not a lot like a lot of other musicians who are very much into a specific type and just stick with that. I, I love so many different types that it gets confusing for me. Not crazy about country and western, but I listen to all sorts of things and I play different types of music. And um, so, and, and I don't think there need there uh, ha, there is a need to close up and just say I, I like one thing. I love what I just played today. I love uh, playing semi-type fusion stuff. I love uh, Pat Metheny, I love West Montgomery. I, I don't see that much of a difference. Well, certainly, uh, the, if you want to use the terminology in the word jazz, it, it is an amalgamation of a lot of kinds of music and streams. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, we just played one tune where Bobby Rosengarten, I don't know, went into a march or a New Orleans second line rhythm, and, and basically Milt Hinton took a funk bass solo, and I turned around to him and I said, oh, that's where it comes from. You know, because there's a slapping bass technique that electric bass players use, and he was doing it incredibly on an upright, which is unbelievable enough. And I just, it, it, it just occurred to me that maybe he made it up, like in 1938 or something, and we've been copying ever since. But um, there's all sorts of different types of music encompassed in the word jazz, and uh, it just implies improvisation, freedom, and... Uh, I don't know, just as Bobby had said, having a good time uh, with the music and um, being as creative as you can be. And you, you're not stuck to a framework so so tightly like classical is or, or like a well-practiced rock band is, and sort, sort of cling to a frame so tightly. We just play the head and, and then we're off, you know, to whatever we want to do. It's just very much like playing when you're a kid, you know. And instant composition. Right, instant composition. That's what I'm into. Instant composition. Uh, that's not airsots, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the real thing, the real thing. Delightful. Uh, Emily Remler, um, just uh, maybe three names here. Um, I, I, I suppose people just plumb this out of you every time, but for my reference anyway, Wes Montgomery. In my opinion, he was the greatest jazz guitarist ever lived. And uh, actually, one of the best improvisers, period, not even considering the guitar, but on, on any instrument, to me, everything he played, you could write a new tune out of. And you could also sing the melody of the tune throughout his whole solo and feel the form of that. Plus, he had the greatest time feel, rhythm feel, and, and uh, humorous, and I just loved his sound. To me, he was the best jazz guitarist that ever lived, you know. Historically, and by reference to uh, Charlie Christian. Yeah, well, he copied Charlie Christian uh, profusely, and I copied him profusely. And that's just the way it goes down the line. I mean, uh, either you admit it or you don't, but uh, everything really is derivative to me. I mean, Juilliard has a, a contest every year to uh, uh, for someone to write 10 bars of original music. And uh, then there's a board that sits around and says what period this is from, what symphony this is from, because things have been done before. Everything's interpretation or feeling or sound. And um, so Wes copied Charlie Christian, and I think he took it very far from there. Although it's apples and oranges, Charlie was great in his own right, you know, of course. And, um, and then George Benson copied Wes and, and took it to another place. But I still hear all the basses. I hear when George Benson plays even a, a disco-type tune, and he plays the guitar, I still hear Wes Montgomery. I still hear that same spirit, that same feeling. I don't know what people are talking about, that he sold out or 
he did this or didn't. I don't hear anything like that. I just hear the same stuff with a different accent on a different beat. Doesn't mean that much to me. And so, uh, therefore, I love George Benson's music. And uh, Pat Martino also comes from that school. I, I think, if we're talking about jazz guitar, that there's basically two schools where people came out of. One was the Django Reinhardt people, which would be like Tal Farlow, Barney Kessel, um, or Herb Ellis, or Jimmy Rainey, you know. And the other would be like the uh, Charlie Christian people would be George Benson, Wes Montgomery, Pat Martino. And, I mean, they all intertwine, but just, just a, a basic rhythm feel down the line feels that way to me. Emily Remler, uh, for you, uh, your goals uh, in music philosophically and uh, your commitment. I have a tremendous commitment that I made <clears throat> consciously and at about 16 years old. Um, when I heard West Montgomery and decided that I wanted to be a jazz guitarist. I mean, I made a commitment before when I was about 12. I, uh, it's, it's, it's just as Bobby Rosengarten had said, I love to play. I feel great when I'm playing. It's when I'm not playing that I have a hard time. Um, you know, I'll, I'll probably do this the rest of my life. I, I don't think uh, other professions have any less merit. You know, I get very interested in other things, but I end up going back to music, and I've been very fortunate in in getting the breaks that I've had playing with the great musicians that I that I've played with and situations just seem to come up to teach me new new things I must have needed this situation for instance I must have and um, to to rebase me in in the old older school of jazz which is such a strong thing that you can base your music on and I hadn't been doing it lately I've been playing more of a Brazilian and crossover type stuff I suppose who knows about these labels they put things in but anyway things have happened like that so th my goal would be to be the best musician I can be and but basically on a practical level to play with the same musicians every night <laughs> really and that's not a difficult ta I mean it's not a very easy task it's very difficult in this business to be able to take the same musicians with you and that's what I'd like to do and of course I'd like to make a lot of people happy and enjoy my music and feel good as a result of that you know just, but just to be the best musician I can be in, in every area writing playing you know Emily Remler thank you very much thank you